Hi everyone, it's Melissa, your Plantita Abogada here at Tasteful Nodes, coming to you today with an unboxing video. So yeah, in case you can tell, these are the Hoyas from the previous episode. This is the same outfit I'm wearing, but I mean, I don't get to do two episodes in one day often, so I'm taking advantage of it, okay? So yeah, I am unboxing a wish list item. <laughs> excited? Yes, I'm excited. I hope you're excited too. Let's go ahead and get through our disclaimers and then I'll dive right into this. One, KKB tayo, kanya kanyong bayad. For Westerner friends, it means we each pay our own way. It means we buy prudently and deliberately and we don't spend our rent money, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Number two, I'm not an expert on anything. I'm a hobbyist. I'm an attorney by profession, so I read a lot and I hopefully read the right sources. When I do refer to anything that's factual, I'll go ahead and make sure to put the source at the bottom of the screen and in the description box down below. And third, I'm new to this plant. I have no care tips to give. I do recommend that if you plan on getting one of these, to find someone in your area who can actually provide you information on how to grow it, where to find it, how much it is in your area. Yeah, that would be great. Find experts in your area, make those connections, guys. Okay, so right before we film this episode, had to run to the bus depot because there was a plant waiting for us there. And here it is. Yay. Just got to make sure I'm not showing our address because I don't want to get in trouble with Plant Daddy. Yep. It does not look like we have our address showing. Good. I'm safe. Fantastic. Anyway. This was a wishlist plant, and I'm quite surprised to have found it um, this early just because it's a hard to find plant. I mean, I've had friends who pointed me in directions that they thought could help, but no one had this plant. I was just like, what's going on here? So needless to say, I'm thrilled to have this. I'm going to go ahead and unbox it right now. This plant is from Miracle Flora Studios. Yeah. Um, Christian Baldivino is the owner, creator, proprietor, CEO of Miracle Flora, and he's the person responsible for tracking this down for me, I'm guessing. I just want to make sure I don't show any identifying information for any parties involved. Fantastic. Okay, scissor time. So this plant has a nice long history, long, long history. And I know I got in trouble with some of you guys. I love when I get um, messages from you guys. And even when I get in trouble with you guys, it's perfectly fine too. Because I'm already kicking myself at that point when I realize, oh my gosh, I said that? Yeah, you know, sometimes I speak out of excitement. And many times um, I catch it when I do editing. And the one time I released a video without thoroughly um, catching or verifying everything is the one time you guys got me. So this is my chance for redemption. This plant is an older plant. And if you watch my wish list episode, you know that there are two older plants on that list. It is a plant that is known is possibly the first known man-made hybrid at least that's what Siddharth called it right first known man-made hybrid um a good friend of mine robert mccracken hi i hope you don't mind me mentioning you actually messaged me and said hey you do know that maize has been hybridized way before um, this plant that you're talking about, right? I'm like, you don't say. And I, you know, of course we had our little discussion. And after that, you know, it was a good conversation. I appreciate it. And then I got another message from another friend who I won't name because he's incredibly private. Like his profile pictures don't even show his picture, right? I mean, they show his picture, they don't show his face. So I've never seen his face. And I imagine I won't even mention him by name either. Messages me and says, you do know that you mentioned the wrong hybrid, right? So that's another guess for you guys. It's a hybrid. And I'm like, no, 
sure enough, I watched the video, and yeah, I did mention the wrong hybrid. So, this plant is what is believed to be the first known man-made hybrid, um, philodendron. And there we go. So I'm being very careful. First man-made philodendron hybrid. Okay. And that's according to the experts, not according to Melissa. And it is supposedly a hybrid. Let me go ahead and find out what the names are. Supposedly a hybrid of P. lindenii and something called P. lucidum. Okay. And this is prior to 1888 in Italy, Florence, Italy specifically. Ah, hi, baby. So P. lindenii um, is considered to be a synonym for philodendron varicosum. And if you watch that video, you know I was talking about philodendron versinianum. Named after the prince, or after Prince Crescini, uh, who was then mayor of Florence at the time, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. It was first published in 1888 in Bulletino Deja. Okay, I'm not even going to say that. We'll pr we're putting it at the bottom of the screen. But it was first published in 1888, and then it won the Certificate of Merit by the Royal Agricultural and Horticultural Society of Ghent as part of an international exposition in 1887. Yeah. Yep. And I need to give credit to Siddharth for that. It's his Facebook post in Philodendron Enthusiasts entitled Philodendron Ex Corsinianum, A Colorful History. And boy, is it a colorful plant. Let me go ahead and free this guy. Freedom. And it is packaged really well. We do have damage, but this does not appear to be damage done through packaging, so I ain't even worried about it. <gasps> hi, baby. Hi, hi, hi. Wow, lots of roots. And nice, strong roots, too. And don't mind me, I'll clean up my mess, I promise. <laughs> I'm just really excited to see this. Yay. So, another, um, characteristic pinpointing it the varicosum as it's one of its parents is look at that look at that background or look at that the back side of the sleeve I mean the coloration is definitely varicosum the other name or the other parent it does say that it's P. lucidum right but it Siddharth also mentions that there's a high possibility that the second parent is P. Pinatifidum, and that's what he, my friend got me on in the last video. Is like he's not, it's not by Pinatifidum, it's Pinatifidum. So according to Siddharth, this species was widely available in collections in Europe at the time of the creation of this hybrid, and that's what's giving him that hunch that that could be the second parent for this. So, some interesting things that I can't observe immediately is that the petiole exhibits some extra floral nectaries maybe up to a third no maybe a fourth of the petiole shows the extra nectaral extra nectaral extra floral nectaries yeah efns guys let's just call them efns maybe up to a fourth of the petiole is also reddish in color and the extra floral nectaries are also reddish i don't think the Veracoso has extra floral nectaries. I'll have to check mine in the potty shed and I'll take video um, to show side by side so you see what I'm talking about. But I think that might belong to the Pinatifidum parent. And if anything, that would give Siddharth's claim even more um, support, the fact that the Pinatifidum would have that and not the Veracoso. Of course, the Pinatifidum would also have the large leaves um, I'll go in and see if I could find a picture of that as well to show you uh, the parents and this guy in the middle. And it looks like we're doing really, really well. We have new growth coming out. Um, 
everything looks well. It's not, there's no heat stroke. It's not sweaty passing out. It's just a beautiful plant that I'm really, really excited to grow. Yay. And my friends, my first unboxing for the year. I hope you enjoyed it, keeping it short and sweet. If you enjoyed this unboxing, and if you want to follow along my wish list journey this year, feel free to hit subscribe, like this video, click that notification bell so you get notified of new content as I put it out. If the once a week videos are not enough for you, feel free to follow me on Facebook. I'm there as Tasteful Nodes. And I'm also on Instagram as Tasteful Nodes in case you just want to scroll and look at pretty pictures. Okay guys, keeping this unboxing short and sweet. Until next time, sa uulitin, keep your nodes classy and tasteful. Bye. Ah, so pretty. Thank you.